Greetings everyone, I've returned to Universal Studios Hollywood to hunt down some haunted houses. Let's roll that intro. Yes, everyone, the season is upon us once again. It's Halloween time. And I thought it'd be fun and maybe a little helpful to hunt down where all the houses are during the daytime. But the next video on this channel will actually be my experience at the event. So stay tuned, it's coming very soon. And if you're watching this later on, it's probably out by now. This is for the Halloween 2023 season. Oh boy. Uh, and again, for this one, it's not gonna be scary. I'm just gonna show you where the houses are. The next one, that's gonna be very scary. Brace yourself. Walking right down the main street here, Dracula shielding himself from the sun. We're actually gonna take a left down kind of by the Illumination Pavilion, as I like to call it. Here we go. If we're heading down towards Illumination. You can see that the Evil Dead Rise House is right off here to the left, but then also Monsters of Latin America. It's right down here to the right. I'm gonna show you both. Yeah, right here, this is where the like hotel was last year, if I'm not mistaken. Right down this way. All the fun can be had, and it's right down here by the Baker Street Music Hall and Administration. Oh yeah, it's right there. So like I said, if you're heading down, Secret Life of Pets is right over there. Also, as you can see right here, it's on the app as well, so you can use that to bring that up, but right over here, Monstrous, the Monsters of Latin America. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's right here. I believe it's right here, right next to Mel's Diner. Isn't that nice? Interestingly enough, the other houses up on the upper lot are over here in Hogsmeade slash right next to Hogwarts. Yes, they're in the very back. We've got to walk all the way to the back. Well, I'm showing off most of the houses here. I'm not showing off the scare zones per se. However, I'll say this. I believe the Dementors are back. So go check them out in Hogsmeade. They're honestly like, they're one of my favorite things last year. Easily, easily. Hands down, Dementors. Oh, maybe I should bring the Elder One, Duelum. I did that last year? I think I did. That was fun. Or I did it another time. I don't know. It was really fun. <laughs> Quick appreciation post for Hogwarts itself. Oh, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Ugh, I never get tired of it. <laughs> it's so cool. If Hogwarts is right here, over behind these giant wooden gates, they'll be open during the event, are two more houses. We've got Chucky Ultimate Kill Count and Universal Monsters Unmasked. So they'll be way in the back there. And again, we're right next to Hogwarts. And Flight of the Hippogriff is right over here too. So yeah, it's tucked way in the back. A lot of these houses are going to be. So, kind of like when I do the uh, restroom videos, they're tucked away, they're tucked away, you know? That takes care of all of the houses on the upper lot. Now we're heading on down to the lower lot. Find a couple more of those houses, those elusive tucked away houses. I think I already know what the phrase is gonna be for this video. <laughs> I know it's been open for a while now, but every time I come to the lower lot and see Super Nintendo World, I always get like excited. Even if I don't go in there, I'm like, oh, there it is, there it is. And Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge does not look like a super long wait. Yeah, it's a quiet day here. Because the park is shutting down at 6 p.m. this day. Might be different days for when the event kicks off, but just keep that in mind if you want to get a ticket around the Halloween season, September, October for Universal Studios Hollywood. Also, if you are planning to come to the event, you can actually get in earlier than 6 o'clock. So just keep that all in mind. Keep it all in mind. Also, I'm heading down the Starway right now, as you can tell. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. you you're you fantastic. All right, you are. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me. I really, really appreciate it. According to the internet, it says you can get early event access starting on 5.30 p.m., which is great. And you can get into Super Nintendo World from 7 to 10. Oh my, that's actually um, a nice fringe benefit there. I like that. Hi everyone, Editor Jimmy here. Just wanted to clarify a few things here about the event itself. I'm going to link the event's website down below so you can check this out. But what I was referring to in the video was the after 2 p.m. day slash night ticket. That one is the one that gets you into Super Nintendo World from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. And these are all subject to change, so keep that in mind. So if you have just a regular general admission ticket to Halloween Horror Nights, that will not, I repeat, it will not get you into Super Nintendo World. If you want to get into Super Nintendo World during the event, you gotta get that after 2 p.m. day slash night ticket. Also, on top of all of that, you can add on an early access ticket 
for a smaller price comparatively to the other tickets. So you can add that on. That will get you into the houses about an hour, hour and a half-ish before the event truly starts. So keep that in mind. So basically that means like if you want to get into one of those bigger houses early, starting at like 5.30, that's what you add on to your ticket. That does not come with the other tickets. So you have to add that on. So just want to keep that in mind. Again, I will link this so you can check it out. Back to the vlog. Now when you come down the Starway last year, the way they had it is they actually had um, Monsters Collide right down over here. That's where The Last of Us is. I'm going to double check and make sure that's the same way it is for this year. There's a chance it also might be back around the other way. If you can see on the map here though, it actually shows that The Last of Us is like right here, but this is like the mummy queue line. So it's not gonna be that. So I'm guessing it's either back this way or wraps around somewhere else. I'm gonna double check, we'll find out. Now we're over by Transformers, the ride 3D. And down over to the right here, we've got Holidays and HE Double Hockey Sticks. Oh my gosh, come on, this is a family channel. Uh, <laughs> and then The Exorcist Believer. Yep, I'll be tucked right down over there. However, if you look at Stranger Things, it's down over here, baby, that's right. This is very exciting to me. I think for me, The Last of Us and Stranger Things are the most interesting uh, because they're not completely based on scary stuff, but they do have a lot of scary things in them. So, looking forward to this one. I can tell you right now, my guess is, and maybe this has shifted, this and The Last of Us will be the busiest houses at the event. That's just my guess, okay? Also, pro tip from Jimmy, I'll probably say this in the actual video too. If you come to this event, and you can get in and you're here before it completely starts, come down to the lower lot first, try to do some of the houses down here first, and then head back to the upper lot to maximize your time. I think that's the best way to do it. At least that's what worked last year. <laughs> and look what I found right next to Transformers as well. Here it is, The Last of Us. I thought it was going in the other way like last year, but maybe it's all down here now. Okay, fascinating, interesting. So they've got like three house entrances right down over here. Again, we're looking right up, Optimus Prime. Glowing in the sunshine. Oh yeah. But down here, Last of Us. I cannot wait. Also in the Transformer shop here, you can see some of the merchandise they have here. Uh, that's a Stranger Things thing? I thought that was something else. Uh, <laughs> there's Vecna. Aw, sad boy Vecna. Kind of reminds me of my buddy Kylo. Just a smidge. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Aw. Oh. That's a, oh yeah, sick. Okay, cool. This is for $25. Oh look, it's got the upside down in there too. Isn't that nice? You can enjoy a cup of morning joe in the upside down. <laughs> this little clicker there with Joel and Ellie, very sweet. Also, if you're into the whole nope stuff, Jupiter's Claim, there you go, that's pretty good. Maybe that was your last year, I don't know. Could have been, it's hard to remember. Also, um, Spooky little doll. It's very scary. Um, and then if you want one that's just more kind of straightforward, Halloween Horror Nights 2023. Look at that. Does that have anything on the back? Oh, it does. It has a ton of things. Oh, it has all the houses right here. Okay, cool. So we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but one of them is not a house. It's exterminators. So it's part of it. But look at this. Monsters of Latin America. Ah, that one's really neat. Uh, I wonder if we're gonna see a chupacabra. Oh, here's a bunch of happy faces. Look at it, it's a Christmas card, basically. Oh, a Phantom of the Opera, I think. Ah, that's what I'm telling people. This is Exorcist stuff, I'm pretty sure. Okay, it actually recognizes some of the faces on here on my camera, which is always funny to me. I love it. But if you're like, Jimmy, I can't wear that. I can't wear that. Look at the thing on the back. There's nothing, you know. You're like, Jimmy, I'd rather have it on my socks. Well, guess what? You can have it on your socks. There you go. Some socks for you. Or like a little poster thing. Or like a tin. It's, oh, yeah, they got a lot of stuff. Or, or a tumbler. Man, they got a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff. Whatever you want, they got. So you know what I mean? Can't confirm that last thing was a poster. But look at this. Look at this. They got a four pack shooter set. I don't know what that means. Uh, I, how many toothpicks does one person need? That's my question. But also, check this out. Tis the season. Yep. That's actually kind of nice. That's not so bad. This is not so bad. You know what I mean? I bet people are gonna wear this around Christmas time. I can almost guarantee that. Also, they've got your classic Monsters merch here too. Look at this mummy mug. It's for $13, that's my number. Also, they've got like Creature from the Black Lagoon. It's old school monsters, man. It's so cool. Like, look at this one. For my friends, uh, Frankenstein's monster and the Bride of Frankenstein's monster who I met recently. Very nice. 
Very nice pair. I think I still have the relish pack she gave me. I will relish it. <laughs> I wanted to come say hi to Blue, but I'm also wearing the color red, which she just said that she likes to attack. Uh oh. She prefers That'd be a problem. It feels good. Hi, I know you. I know you too. I'm sorry, I'm wearing red. My bad. I know. You've been here before. I have been here before. And you're aware of the safety concerns? You're going to do a video? Yeah, we're just doing a video. All you. Okay. Hi, well, I'm here with Blue now, and she may or may not attack you, but you have to approach with confidence, turn your back, and not worry about it at all. Because you never know how close she's gonna get. How hungry she is, right? I approve this as a professional raptor handler. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Blue. I'll go now. Thank you so much. Actually, you yeah. just said, what did you say? I'll go. No, before that. I love you, Blue. I love you, Blue. Can you try saying that to her face? Oh, sure, I can say it for her. Go yeah. for it. I wanna see how she responds. Blue, I love you. I love you too, but he said it. You. Yes, a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, good to see you. You rock. You rock. Thank you, Blue. Bye, Blue. Back slowly. Back slowly. <laughs> Thank you. You too. A few other things I wanted to mention about this year's event. I'm back on the upper lot now. And over where Waterworld is, that's actually where they're doing a live show, Purge Dangerous Waters. Isn't that crazy? And then also, I believe in the Kung Fu Panda Adventure screening area, the, uh, what is that, the DreamWorks Animation Building, there's actually a Bloom House Behind the Screams kind of movie thing there too. So they have some other events on top of the houses. Uh, to consider as well, along with the scare zones and the food and all those things. But I just wanted to mention that because I was looking at this, I was like, where's this Purge Dangerous Waters thing? It's, you know, it's in the name, Waterworld. <laughs> That's where it is. Oh my gosh. So yeah, you'll have to check times on that. And uh, yeah, the next video, I'll be able to tell you exactly what those times are. Everybody, that's gonna do it for me here today at Universal Studios Hollywood. I hope you found this video a little bit helpful and a little bit fun. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate that. Also, thank you for all the likes and the comments and all the sharing you guys are doing. Those are the best way to help the channel. Um, if you can, that really does really, really, truly help. But also, some of the biggest supporters we have here are our members and the patrons. Thank you, members. Thank you, patrons. If you wanna support the channel, consider checking out the links down below. But I just appreciate you being here today, and hopefully, you're gonna get over to the event and it's uh, it's gonna be very spooky. But the next video on the channel will be my point of view of the event. So scariness abounds. Get ready for that. It's, it's gonna be crazy. Either way, until next time, just remember to adapt and overcome. Bye-bye. Your patience has been rewarded with a bonus bit because Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge is only 50 minute wait. I'm hoping single rider is open because if it is, Shouldn't be bad at all, let's go. I am getting flashbacks to when this first opened and I could do this again and again on single rider and not be stopped. There might be a little bit of a line up ahead, but usually we would have been stopped by now. I can always tell the single rider is bad if it's out to here, but as you can see, there's nobody in front of me and he gets such a great view. Ah, oh, this is wonderful. Oh my gosh, we're actually gonna get inside, right? <laughs> I can't believe this. Okay, okay, all right. We're in. We are, oh my gosh. How far do we go? We'll just go until we are done. Okay. It's very exciting. Very much excited. Uh oh. Of course. Thank, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Woo. Hat is on. We are just cooking. Dang, this is insane. Okay, there's the end of it. <laughs> That's still pretty good. That's pretty good. Big finish, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. I got some shells. Light them up. Light them up. Light them up. Okay, we're doing it. Where's Bowser? There's Bowser. I'm sorry, Bowser. I'm shooting you, Bowser. Bowser. Bowser, sorry. I got you. I got you, Bowser. Oh man, it's gonna be so close. Oh my goodness, what did we get? What did we get? Oh, you're so close! Oh, 195. Oh, dang. So I get for trying to grab the camera. A uh, crucial point, there I am. Blue, back right. Feels good, baby. Yeah! So not my best performance there on Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge, but still pretty good. I was so focused up the whole time. I missed a few things. Like the poke and the, um, or the pokey pokey, I should say. <laughs> and then the, um, the big fish, bonefish thing. 
We didn't take that down as a team, so congrats. And I missed one of the turns. Ah, oh well. We'll get him next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, everybody. It's my friend. He's back. I call him my friend, but he's not. He's a giant crow man. He's spooking it up. Look at him go. He just looks jolly, though. I don't know. Again, I don't find him scary. Look, he just wants to be friends with everyone.